all right guys we're getting ready to do testing here iphone 12s for each carrier versus s21s video is about to start now all right guys i'm right here at the pep at the pepper mill literally uh, across the street here at the new resort world and the circus circus there's a 5g ultra wideband millimeter wave node for verizon wireless so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here and we're gonna test this on we're gonna start first with the iphone 12 pro max Let's see here make sure everything's good to go all right and we're gonna start the test okay five ping 1.9 jitter and as you can see superb performance for millimeter wave verizon wireless three point one four four gigabytes down with 90.7 on the upload all right so now we're going to go grab the s21 ultra six ping one jitter Okay, two, two point seven 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 gigabytes down. Followed by fifty nine point four on the upload. All right, so let's test that again. Grab uh, the iPhone once again. Four ping, 1.5 jitter. Okay, 3.5 gigs down. And 180 on the upload. All right, so let's test this again. One more time on the S21 Ultra. Six P1 jitter once again. Two point nine gigs down. and 62.3 on the upload. All right, guys, as you can see, this is a major difference in speeds with these two phones. So now let's test them all at the same time, both of them. Okay, five ping, one jitter, six ping, one jitter. Oh, I'm sorry, this is five ping, 2.3 jitter. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. Okay, iPhone 1804, 2305 on the Ultra. Okay, then 64.2 on the iPhone, 65.9 on the Ultra. But if we test them separately, that was just to push the load. Okay, 5 ping, 1.8 jitter. And there you go. The iPhone is just superb. It's just straight up a superb equipment. The the antenna modules that Verizon did to help out. I don't know what they did. I don't know how they did it, but they helped iPhone because the X55 modem is shining on this phone. So let's see here, and then we're gonna do again the Ultra. six ping one jitter consistently it's on the six ping one jitter and this is the first time finally i've seen it get the three gig mark okay 
Okay. 35.49. By 131 on the upload. So just to show you guys, this is very inconclusive. Well, we know the iPhone is pretty conclusive on the test. The something with the Galaxy. I don't know what it is with this new Ultra. Uh, I really don't know, but something's up with this phone, with the Ultras. Just the S21 lineup in general. It on the 5G, it's dumpster fire. But when it comes to LTE, you do see improvements on LTE. That, that I will not deny. Six ping one jitter again. And this is the stuff I'm talking about right here, inconsistency. Let's see here, maybe this will help it a little, moving it right there. Nope. Okay, 872. by 117 all right so this is all millimeter wave right here so let's just uh let's hop onto the other carriers all right now i'll show you the performance difference on lte here on at&t of course you know at&t is the superb the, right now they are massive capacity king 23 pink 6.9 jitter And she is not doing that good here. 18.1. <laughs> this is crazy. She was just doing good a second ago. By 17.9 on the upload. We're gonna test it again one more time. And then we'll do the same two tests on the on the S21 Ultra. 29 ping five jitter. Wow, I don't even know what happened. Let's just do an airplane mode on this real quick, guys. Because it was not doing this earlier. There you go, ATT won the creek. 30 ping, 3.9 jitter. There we go. A272 down. And 32.3 on the upload. All right, so now let's grab the S21 Ultra for AT&T. ping 3 jitter. Seventy down. Wow, this is crazy. The heck, man. And twenty upload. Let's do one more test. Twenty-eight ping, three jitter. Two eighty eight up, or I mean two eighty eight down. Sorry. And nineteen on the upload. Now let's take uh, a hand here with uh, T Mobile. We're gonna start off with the iPhone twelve mini. That's how I got that heat. Let's go. Twenty one pink five point one jitter. Oh man, are we connected to Millimeter Wave for T-Mobile? I think we are. Okay, 820 down. I didn't even know there was Millimeter Wave for T-Mobile here. Learned something new. And 
and 51.6 on the upload now let's see let's just check here real quick on bands on the service menu oh it shows n71 hmm let's just test it the way it is and see what happens Okay, 21 ping, 18 jitter. Oh, by far, yeah. See, it's not detecting the millimeter wave while the iPhone is detecting the millimeter wave. So we got 63.3. And 47.5 on the upload. Now let's try to go here on the selection and disable all the other NR bands and just keep millimeter wave. Okay, now let's do check the service. Ah. Okay, we do have millimeter wave right here. Wow. Okay, now let's test that. But to, just to show you that that x60 modem in this s21 plus because this is an s21 plus it's not letting it uh how do you call it key aggregate with, uh, it's not letting it uh connect to millimeter wave it's taking the low band connection that's a preference so we got 1433 wow this is the first one that's actually uh the damn s21 actually did better so 1433 down and 54 up. So let's do one more test on the iPhone and we're gonna wrap this video up. Twenty-five ping, seven point nine jitter. And there goes the iPhone again shining. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Okay, 1269 down. And 50.4 on the upload. So this just to show you guys, honestly, if you're really thinking about getting an S21, S21 Plus or Ultra, unless you're you're an Android person and you're really sitting on an old phone like an S9 or S10 or something and you want to get into a 5G phone, okay because the incentives are pretty damn decent right now for it but if you're just do if you got an s20 ultra or any of the 5g phones with the next 55 modem iphone or anything it is not worth moving on to these phones so far i don't know if there's going to be an update because right when i opened them from the box today there was a there was a software update and it said to enhance mo uh cellular connectivity and wi-fi connectivity which to me this is not enhance all right, guys, so I'm going to leave this one up to you guys. I'm going to see if there's any more updates that come out for the phone. We will be doing more testing. But honestly, I'm thinking about taking these back because this is not good. This is this is this to me. I'm going to call it like it is right now. So far, I feel like I got scammed. I'm going to call them scam shit right now. To me, it's not even a Samsung. It's a scam shit. But you guys take it with a grain of salt it's up to you guys i'm going to be doing more testing and we'll be showing how this uh phone is going to perform through the end i think we're only going to see the real performance on the on the x60 modem is going to be when the iphone comes out with that chipset on their phone something about the iphone antenna rays but other than that guys make sure to check the links in the description down below uh make sure to share this video through all your favorite social medias you can give me a thumbs up that'd be greatly appreciated thank you guys for tuning into the channel and we'll catch you in the next one peace